Hi, I'm Dr. Nixon with Healing Peak Regenerative Medicine, and today I want to talk to you about PRP, or platelet-rich plasma. You may have heard of it before, but kind of wonder, like, what is that? And, like, what's all the hype, and why are people talking about PRP, and what does it do, and how do I get some? Uh, platelet-rich plasma is a, is a type of blood um, in your bloodstream. So, like, you have serum, you have plasma, you have whole red blood cells. Um, and so platelet-rich plasma is a special part of your blood that we can use to regenerate tissues, which is super exciting. And it's used widely for many different reasons. You know, dentists are using it to help with people who have had infections in their jaw, like the sometimes the jawbone disintegrates because of infections and then they need to put an implant in there, but they can't because the jawbone has disintegrated so much that there's no place for them to put an implant. So they can actually put PRP in there and grow the bone back so then they can put an implant in. And then um, that person doesn't need to have like a whole I don't even know. I don't even know what they do if they can't put an implant in. Maybe you don't get teeth back. But my point is that you can do really amazing things with PRP. And then the other most widely used um, way to use it is for joints and for um, hair growth or beauty, as in facials. So what we do is we draw the blood and we spin it in a special centrifuge. It's not any plain old centrifuge, it's a special one. There are many different brands, uh, but they are specifically for PRP um, centrifuges. And so once we spin that blood down, um, it's a whole tube of blood and we're only gonna take a very small portion of it. We're gonna take the portion between like the, the top white blood cell component and then the bottom red cell blood component. There's a little tiny, uh, about two millimeter space between the red and the white blood cells, which is what is the PRP or platelet rich plasma. And the, the excellent magical thing about platelet rich plasma is that it has all these growth factors in it. It has all these components and chemical structures in it that initiate regeneration. And what does that mean? Well, it means that it asks the tissue that you've injected it into to form more of the tissue in that area. So um, typically we're using this with collagen or connective tissue. Bone um, is a form of connective tissue as well, but like we're talking about cartilage, uh, tendons, ligaments, muscles, you know, it, it regenerates collagen structure, um, which is why we're using it for facials, right? Because like how many people are like, I wanna get rid of these wrinkles or I want my skin to glow again. Well, that's all collagen. And I'm sure you've heard of people drinking collagen now. Um, it's a great way to get those building blocks into your body so that you can regenerate even better. And there are supplements and nutrients that you could take to help your body regenerate even more if you're doing things, treatments like platelet-rich plasma injection, platelet-rich plasma injections to mouth, well, I'm just gonna say PRP from now on. It's much easier. So uh, PRP is, we take your blood, we spin it in a special centrifuge, we take the two millimeter, milliliters um, in between the white blood cell and the red blood cell component of that vial, and then we inject it into the place we want to inject it, or we spread it over the place we want to spread it. Uh, for skin or um, for hair, we're injecting the scalp. So that is what PRP is, and I spend a lot of time talking about a holistic approach to pain management or, you know, why you prep before you get platelet-rich plasma injections. And what it comes down to is you are what you eat and you are what you put in your body. And when you do platelet-rich plasma or when you get a platelet-rich plasma injection or you decide to get platelet-rich plasma facials, or um, otherwise known as vampire facials, you are spreading your body's most regenerative elements onto your skin or back into your joints. So if you have been doing inflammatory things, um, like eating at McDonald's and drinking a 12-pack uh, every day or you know eating bags of candy every day, your PRP is going to be not very good and highly inflammatory. And so that is one reason why I, PRP can be so effective in eliminating pain permanently for people um, and preventing surgery that 
in other cases wouldn't have not been preventable. And so because PRP is so incredible this way, um, it just only gets as incredible as the person that we are injecting it to because it is you literally are manufacturing your medicine. Um, it, that's what's so cool about it. So PRP is a component of the blood that we are centrifuging out um, from you specifically. It's no one else's PRP. It's your PRP. We're taking it out of you. We're extracting the component that we want, the most regenerative elements, and we are injecting it to the place that we want to affect change or regeneration, which for my practice primarily is either hair rejuvenation or pain management um, to prevent things like joint replacements or uh, chronic tendonitis or tendinosis. Typically my patients are wanting to do something that they're unable to do because of pain, like play tennis or go hiking or play with their grandkids on the floor. Um, and at my practice, we give it back to them. So by using PRP in their joints, as long as they're taking good care of themselves, uh, or I help people to get to the point where they're taking good care of themselves, and then we extract the PRP, and then we inject it so that it is even more effective than it would have been if we would have just gone in there hot and heavy right away when they still weren't really like knowing what to do with their diet and lifestyle changes to make the best PRP that they can make. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to address what is PRP and why am I so adamant about prepping before you get PRP because, you know, it could give, you know, if you don't do the preliminary work to make, make the best medicine for your body, then, you know, it may not be effective. And that's really not on PRP. That's on what you're doing with your body and how regenerative your PRP is. And you have total control over that, which is kind of incredible, right? Because so many times we kind of feel, I think in the conventional medical model that we're a victim to it, as in like they kind of say, well, these are your options and that's it. And you have to do this and these are your only options. And it's really not the case. You have a lot of control over how healthy you are and um, especially with platelet-rich plasma injections, how effective the medicine your body is making for you. So that's what I wanted to address today. I hope that was an informative video for you on what is PRP and why do we use it and what do we use it for. And if you would like to schedule a visit or you have more questions related to platelet-rich plasma injections, I would love to talk to you. Our phone number is 206-899-6000 and you can follow me at Dr. Amber Nixon at Instagram. Thanks so much.